a child's ability in maths can be quite striking to the maths marker. Their ability with comprehension can be quite outstanding. But nothing tells of a child's personality more than in the writing task, where everything they write is from within. <laughs> Will their essay stand out? So independent school entrance exams often include a creative or persuasive writing component. It's one of those areas where children can truly stand out basically. So yes, a child's ability in maths can be quite striking to the maths marker. Their ability with comprehension can be quite outstanding, but Nothing tells of a child's personality more than in the writing task, where everything they write is from within, basically. Even though they're answering a question, everything they write is their own creation. So this is a way for them to stand out. And if they can stand out for the right reasons, then yes, of course, they're well on their way to being offered a place at one of these dream pendant schools. First thing that I think is worth mentioning is to just remind your child that structure is key. Every strong piece of writing, whether it's a story, an essay, a persuasive argument, a descriptive piece, whatever it is, it has to have clear beginning, middle and the end, basically. It has to be clear. So you need to encourage your child to plan before they write. The beginning is your introduction. The middle is obviously you're adding more detail. The ending is where you're concluding. So if you've watched my other videos, you will know that I'm not a fan of a three paragraph strategy. This is not what I'm reverting to here. So please watch my video on Story Mountains in regards to creative writing. About every piece of writing has that basic structure then you need to focus on building their voice. So many parents get children to memorize phrases, especially similes, metaphors, and so on. That is not going to sound like your child's voice because it's somebody else's creation. Schools actually want to see originality and creativity in children's writing. So you need to encourage your child to basically express their unique perspective. So for creative writing, this could mean developing interesting characters or coming up with a really unusual plot with a twist. And in persuasive writing, it could be about making a really strong and clear argument with solid reasoning. These are all skills that can be developed with practice. And then finally, I said the word a moment ago, practice actually makes perfect. So you need to set up sort of mock writing sessions where your child has to produce a piece of writing within a set time limit. And the more they practice writing under exam conditions, the more confident they'll feel when it's time to put pen to paper. Thanks for watching. Do you need help with your writing? Don't forget to check out Geek School Tutoring's online writing courses at www the 11 plus essay.co.uk. We have everything from creative writing courses to English comprehension courses and English grammar and punctuation courses, just to name a few. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel and to switch on your notifications so you know when our next video goes up. Bye. Collins,